Hi there. Now, what I've got here are a couple of examples which are quite common in exams where you've got to show that a quadratic expression is greater than zero or less than zero for all real values of x. And the method I'm going to show you is done by completing the square. So I'm assuming that you are familiar with this. If not, do go back and check out my earlier tutorials on completing the square. So let's start with this first one here. x squared minus 6x plus 10. So in the usual way, if we're completing the square for this, I'd say that this is identical to a bracket here that's all squared and in it we put x at the beginning and we halve the coefficient of x which is minus 6 so if you halve that that's going to be minus 3 and if you were to square this out you would get x squared the first term minus two lots of 3x which is the minus 6x and then you'd get minus 3 all squared which is plus 9 so I can see that to that 9 I'd have to add 1. So you could go straight to the answer and say it was x minus 3 squared plus 1. Or you might like to say, well, OK, I don't like that 9 that I've created, so I'll subtract it. And that would give me at the moment x squared minus 6x when fully expanded. And then you just put back that 10. OK, so either way, you end up with two terms, x minus 3 all squared plus that one. So how does this help us show that this is always greater than zero, always a positive value for all real values of x? Well, it's easy because this first term here, x minus 3 all squared, because it's a squared term, it will always be positive. And if you're adding it to another positive number, well, two positive numbers are always going to be positive, going to be greater than zero. So to summarize, I would write that the term x minus 3 all squared is always positive since it is squared. And adding 1 to any positive value will mean that all of x minus 3 squared plus 1 is greater than 0 for any real value of x. So that means that we can conclude that therefore x squared minus 6x plus 10 is greater than 0 for all real values of x. Now in this second example here, We've got to show that minus 7 plus 5x minus x squared is less than 0. Negative, in other words, for all real values of x. So in order to do this, let's just put down that question again. We've got minus 7 then plus 5x minus x squared. I picked this one just to also demonstrate slightly harder style. OK, but... Uh, we would still need to complete the square on it. OK, so I'm just going to take the negative out the front of a square bracket. OK, so that's how we kind of handle these these kind of questions. So I would have x squared there at the front and then minus the 5x and then plus the 7. So it allows me to at least create a positive x squared term at the front of this expression here. So we now just say that's minus and we carry on as before. We've got the x squared minus 5x. So we just put that in a bracket like this. So take the x at the front here half the coefficient of x, half of minus 5 is minus 2.5, but it's easier, as I've said before in earlier tutorials, to write it as minus 5 over 2. OK, so we've got x minus 5 over 2 all squared. And then this time, I'm just going to square this out. We would get the x squared. We'll get two lots of minus 5 over 2x, which is minus 5x. And we would get plus 25 over 4 when minus 5 over 2 is squared. I don't want that, so I'm going to subtract it. So minus 25 over 4 and put back that 7. OK, so there we go. S complete that square bracket there. OK, we're nearly there. So we've got that this is identical to minus and just going to tidy this up. We've got x minus 5 over 2 all squared and then minus 25 over 4 plus 7 
7 is the same as 28 over 4, so 28 over 4 minus 25 over 4 is just going to leave me with plus 3 over 4, plus 3 quarters. And we'll just finish that bracket off there. OK, so how does this show then that minus 7 plus 5x minus x squared is always less than 0, always negative? Easy, OK? If we look at these two terms inside the bracket, we can see that this term is always squared, so it's going to be positive. We add another positive value, so inside the square brackets, this is going to be positive. And so we've got a negative outside, so overall the expression is going to be negative for all real values of x. So just to recap then, we've got the term x minus 5 over 2 squared is always positive since it's squared. And adding 3 quarters to any positive value will mean that we've got x minus 5 over 2 all squared plus 3 quarters is always positive for all real values of x. So putting the negative outside, it's going to mean that that expression is now going to be negative for all real values of x. And so to summarize then, we therefore have minus 7 plus 5x minus x squared is less than 0 for all real values of x. OK, so I hope you've got an idea now how to do this kind of question. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another video.